Dr. Bakari, a senior consultant cardiologist at the Harley Street Cardiology Practice. Hello, Lisa. Welcome to the Harley Street Cardiology Practice. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So, Dr. Bakari, you are the director and now an eminent consultant cardiologist. How do you get to where you are today? Well, after my graduation, I was determined to specialize in internal medicine and cardiology. In view of this, I took up posts in prestigious hospitals like St. Thomas's Hospital, London, at the Medway Hospital in Kent, and the Royal Berkshire Hospital in Reading. And there, I completed my membership of the Royal College of Physicians. I completed my training in cardiology at the Royal Gwent Hospital, at the University Hospital of Wales, and at St. George's Hospital in London. As a result of this extensive training, I am duly accredited in internal medicine and cardiology, and I am a fellow of all the four Royal Colleges of Physicians. I know a lot has happened since then to both enhance your reputation and increase your experience within this crucial area of healthcare. But what about the High Street Cardiology practice? What's your message? What's the ethos behind it? What's behind it is patience. Our overriding concern, our mantra is patient comes first, patient comes second, patient comes third. In other words, in delivering good medical care, nothing comes before our patient's well-being. What do you mean by good medical care and patient well-being? We combine best medical care with personal care. Patient's well-being means not only just their physical health, but also their mental, emotional and psychological state. We understand that this is a very difficult time for them and their loved ones. Health scares are not easy to deal with both by patients or their families. And a good communication system with a genuine concern and empathy becomes an integral part of our care. We try to address these concerns and worries through providing a supportive system that they can access online and over the telephone. My guiding principle when treating anyone is to imagine that if this was my loved one, how would I like him or her to be treated or looked after? So how do you achieve this very idealistic goal of patient care? Well, it is what we term patient focus. As the term suggests, our services and care are geared towards a responsiveness to patients' needs and preferences. Everything, therefore, is dovetailed to ensure the patient's needs are met. How exactly would this manifest itself in practice? Well, Lisa, we strive to deliver the safest, the most effective evidence-based cardiac treatment. We ensure our patients are dealt with utmost respect, dignity, in a comfortable and a safe environment. Most importantly, we keep our patients informed and encourage their input at every step of their care. This two-way communication, I think, helps to establish an excellent rapport with our patients, and I feel this is a core component of good medical practice. Dr. Bakari, I can see that you are very passionate, not just about the well-being and positive outcomes for your patients, but also the overall experience they'll encounter at the High Street Cardiology Practice. You've had extensive international experience in your career. Tell us more about it. After completing my training in UK and specializing in cardiology, I took up the post of cardiologist at Mufraq Hospital Abu Dhabi, which is the biggest tertiary care cardiac center in the United Arab Emirates. And while there, I was appointed as an assistant professor of cardiology in the United Arab Emirates University. In the 10 years I spent in the United Arab Emirates, besides being involved in the teaching, I have treated all levels of society, including being appointed to treat the royal family, and had the honor of being appointed the personal cardiologist to the President of United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. That must have been a huge responsibility. How did you cope with that? This was indeed a very fascinating and enriching experience, both personally and professionally. It gave me opportunities to lead medical teams internationally. I have led teams in Europe, America, South Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. My most fulfilling experience has been leading teams and projects of delivering healthcare and emergency medical aid to disaster-stricken regions of Bosnia and South Asia. I also participated in developing healthcare policies at a national level.
I realize that regardless of where the people come from or what they do, if you treat them with respect and sincerity, they respond to you positively. That is why patient focus is the core value of the Harley Street cardiology practice. That brings us back to Harley Street. I can see how important patient care is to you. And I see from your website that you offer various cardiac services at the practice. Can you tell us something more about this? Of course, Lisa, we routinely undertake a range of non-invasive and invasive cardiac investigations at our facilities. For example, coronary angiogram, which gives a very accurate information as to the condition of the patient's coronary arteries. Conventionally, patients used to have a catheter inserted into the femoral artery at the top of the leg to image the coronary anatomy. This is the gold standard to investigate the narrowing of the arteries. The downside of having this done from the femoral route, as we call it, is that they have to wait a minimum of three to four hours before they could be mobilized. We now use the latest technique of introducing the catheter via the wrist of the patient. And as soon as the procedure is completed, usually the patient can get up and walk away from the operating table. Wow, that is such a big difference, not having to spend four hours in bed before being discharged. Well, the second example is very close to my heart, if you excuse the pun. Take a look at this. This is the state-of-the-art pacemaker from around 60 years ago. My goodness, it's so, so bulky. How do people get on with their daily lives with this piece of, well, equipment inside of them? Indeed they did, and this was a very major procedure to implant it. But then it saved countless lives. That brings me to this technical masterpiece, the modern pacemaker. I now implant this if clinically indicated. Well, what a difference. I can't believe the size of it. It's, it just looks incredible. I agree, and it's incredible. And I have introduced the concept of day case permanent pacemaker implantation. The advantage from the patient's perspective is that the patient has the procedure and it turns to home the very same day. Well, thank you for talking to me today, Dr. Bakari, and sharing your thoughts and experiences of cardiology care. Is there a final message you'd like to leave before we close? Lisa, the bottom line is I love patient contact, and that's what being a doctor is all about. I enjoy what I do. For me, the biggest reward is seeing patients getting better, getting back to their families, and getting on enjoying their lives. That's what I